On our drive up to conduct field work, we noticed several large and dangerous avalanches that released naturally within the last 24 hours. These avalanches occurred on wind-loaded northeast-facing slopes. Almost all of the avalanche activity in Colorado in the last few days has been on north, northeast, and east-facing slopes. Okay, here we are, northeast aspect in the Sawatch Zone, pretty close to Independence Pass. Jason and I walked into this little meadow and uh, had a big rumbling collapse. We felt the whole meadow drop, big booming rumbling collapse, pretty much tells us everything we need to know. There we go. So this slab is all since Halloween. Pencil hard down at the bottom of this slab and underneath it, lo and behold, the early season depth tour. Now we move off of shady slopes with unstable snow to sunny southerly slopes. Aspect about 11,800 feet. Looking to see what we have down at the bottom of our snowpack, what this couple feet of snow that fell over the last four or five days fell upon. Um, not finding a big faceted weak layer when we test it with an ECT. Right here on southeast aspects, you get down at the bottom and essentially all of this storm snow fell right on top of the mud. And uh, sure enough, it's not all bad out there. No facets down here. The bottom line for the northern and central mountains is that northerly and east facing slopes near to above tree line are dangerous and should be avoided, especially if wind loaded. Southerly slopes look to have a much more stable snowpack. If you plan to travel on southerly slopes, dig down and confirm that a weak faceted snow layer is not present. Even in the absence of this layer, you should still avoid heavily wind drifted terrain features.